In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how we can use the while loop to stop us from repeating code. I've got a program and I'm asking the user for a number and I've stored that into a variable called n. Because I'm asking them for a number, I'm also going to use the int function to change that into an integer. I've then gone and printed 1 times n, 2 times n, 3 times n to display the times table. So if I press play and then I type in 2, I'd expect it to display the 2 times table and it has done that correctly. But what I've got is I've got repeating code. I may want to display this a thousand times, a hundred times. That would require me to create a thousand lines of code and that is inefficient. So what we're going to do is create a while loop to iterate or loop through the same line of code but with some slight changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to keep these two lines of code because I'm asking the user for a number and I'm changing it into an integer from a string. So that is always going to be the same. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to create a variable called i for iterator and I'm going to set that to zero. I'm going to say while i is less than 11 and I'm going to put my colon. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to print i times n. Once I've gone into the while loop, I'm going to increase the value of i by 1. So I'm going to say i plus equals 1. So what's going to happen is the user is going to enter a number. We're going to change it into an integer. We're also going to create a variable called i, which is going to be set to 0. We could also call this the counter if you wish. The program is going to initialize the while loop and it's going to check is i less than 11. So to start off with i is less than 11 because it's 0 at this point, it's going to run this code on line 7 and it's, the first thing it's going to do is change the value of i. So i has now become 1. It's going to print off i which is 1, which should have been i actually. So it's going to print off i which is 1 times whatever number the user entered. So if the user entered 2, it's going to be 1 times 2. Then it's going to go back to the top and it's going to say is i less than 11. Now i is equal to 1 and that is still less than 11 and it's going to go back down change the value of i so this time it's going to add one more so i is going to become 2. Then it's going to print i times 2 which is going to give us the 4 and it's going to go back to the top and it's going to check again is i less than 11. Yes, i is now 2 and it's still less than 11 and it's going to do that a number of times until eventually i becomes more than or equal to 11. So once i becomes 11, the program will stop. So let's see how this works. I'm going to press play, I'm going to press OK and I'm going to type in 2. I'm going to press enter. If I wanted this to happen 100 times, I just put 100. If I wanted it to happen a thousand times, I put in a thousand. If I press play now and I wanted my two times table a thousand times, I press two and I press enter and there's a lot of a lot of information and a lot of data that has outputted but it's done that a thousand times. If I was to go and do that individually, it would take me an awful long time. It would also possibly be a case of me typing something wrong and the program not functioning correctly. Using this while loop is really powerful. I've been able to execute more than a thousand lines of code, but I've only got to line eight. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial.